This is calculator question number 20 from the May 2019 SAT. College Board gives us a dot plot and asks us to compare the mean and median for the data. There are 25 points on the dot plot, and so the median will be the 13th from the largest or 13th from the smaller, smallest. Since there is 7 15s and 7 14s, the median is going to be in this group because that's a total of 14 from the top. So median equals 14 months, 1, 2, 3, 6, and 5 is 11. The 13th from the bottom will be in the group of 14 months, and 7 and 7 is 14. The 13th from the bottom is all, from the top is in the group of 14 months. So that's our median. The mean, if you add up these numbers, 7 times 15 plus 7 times 14, plus 5 times 13, plus 3 times 12, plus 11, plus 10, plus 9, and divide by 25, that's the mean, and that's 13 point something, 36. And we observe that the mean is less than the median because the median was 14, so that is choice B. Alternatively, a much faster answer, if you remember it, is that if you have a skewed distribution, which means a long tail on one side or outliers on one side, the outliers or the skew will pull, pull the mean in the direction of those extreme observations. So the mean should be less than the median because we are skewed left with a long tail on the left and no tail on the right. So the mean should be less, which is what we found by actually calculating it but those who have done AP statistics should be able to jump correctly to the answer. College Board will often ask you to compare mean and median, including from graphical displays like this one. So review those options and come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.